Hey, what's going on? This is Robin Williams from the real Robin Williams.com. In this video, I'll be sharing with you some things that you can use to get your business moving in the right direction. If you're looking to uh, start your internet marketing business or just get your internet marketing business going. And at the end of this video, I'll be giving you an opportunity to watch my favorite six and seven figure coaches um, trainings over the shoulder, basically see exactly what they did to build their business um, to a six and seven figure business using online marketing tools and strategies that actually work. All right, so in this video, um, I'm going to be going over some steps, right? And I understand that maybe you've been on the internet for a while and you're looking at a, a way to uh, basically take your business from point A to, to point Z. And maybe you've been struggling and not understanding exactly what you're missing from your business. So I'll be going over some key things that if you're missing some of these key things, it could be the reason why you're struggling. Um, and again, you might be aware of some, most, maybe all of these strategies that I'll be giving you and still not having results. And that's why I'm going to um, give you the opportunity to get step-by-step -step training. All right, one of the number one things that you may have heard on the internet is pick your market. However, some people um, may actually skip this or they may just pick their market without giving it any thought, right? So when I say pick your market, it doesn't just mean, you know, ball some options up, put it in a hat, pull it out and see uh, what it is you pulled out to market. It actually means do some market research. It um, Just because uh, you may be seeing somebody who's a multi-millionaire off of this product or, um, you know, you just, you're very passionate about a product or a service or whatever. It doesn't mean that it's actually a good option for you to market your business online. Now I'm not the person that said, don't go after your dreams, right? That's just not me. So if you really feel like you did your market research, you can't find your market out there, but you feel like it's an option, maybe you can go ahead and try it, but just know that you wanna give it a healthy amount of time to actually try to reach your market and um, ensure that it's something that you can um, go out there and, and market and profit in that niche. Now, you want to do a market research to make sure that the people exist on there, that they want to buy your products, right? And service or services or whatever it is you're, you're selling. After you do that, you want to go ahead and create some automation tools, some sites, some landing pages. Um, you want to create your autoresponder because without having these options or these tools and, and um, these tools in place or the automation in place, you will be wasting a lot of time marketing your business because you cannot literally talk to a um, hundred people a day, 50 people a day, um, 20 people a day consistently for the rest of your life. Like you can do maybe 20 to 50, depending on how many, um, how much time you have on your hands. And, and if you're using Facebook, however, it gets old and you can get tired very easily. So you want to utilize tools that will help you do some of the legwork. Meaning if someone's introduced to your product or your business on your landing page, then um, they have the opportunity to put their email in there and join your, uh, your autoresponder list. Or basically they'll put their email in and get a video. However, an autoresponder is definitely recommended on just about any business that you could think of. So you wanna put in something like a landing page for people to uh, land on and an automation tool like um, Messenger, Chatbot, or you wanna put an autoresponder on the tail end of that because you wanna be able to continue to build a relationship with your audience. After you create the tools, remember you've only created the tools, right? You want to now connect your tools and your message to your audience. So you have to figure out where the heck your audiences um, are, like where, where they are, where's the playground, right? You wanna find out where your people are hanging out at so that you can get that message to them. Now, Facebook is a good example that we use and or that I use in a lot of videos. Um, you wanna see if this, Facebook is a place that they're hanging out. Maybe use Facebook groups or something like that. Sometimes Twitter may be the place to go to, Instagram. So it's your job to figure out 
um, where your audience is. It's not your sponsor's job to figure out what it is if you're uh, marketing like an MLM company or a direct uh, sales company. It's, it's your job to figure out where these folks are because you can sign up for any marketing tool and all this other stuff that promises you all this great gadget connection, whatever, right? Um, but if you don't have a place where your folks are hanging out and you're getting that message too, they're not gonna jump onto your autoresponder list or anything like that. So definitely do some research. A good um, site to look at, especially if you're doing paid ads or retargeting is uh, SimilarWeb. So if you can go on SimilarWeb.com and basically look and see where your audiences are hanging out by um, choosing other websites that's in your industry and plugging that website in SimilarWeb, it'll shoot out um, different sites and things like that of where your audiences could be hanging out at. So definitely um, figure that out before you start to market, especially if it's paid marketing because you don't wanna waste your funds, right? You don't wanna waste your coins on places that you don't um, have a market. Now, just talking about you know buying ads and stuff like that, that brings me into your strategy. What is your strategy? Are you gonna be using a free or paid strategy? How are you going to be marketing to these folks? You know where they're at, you know where they're located. How will you be reaching, it, reaching out to them? One of the ways that I know that's amazing for like internet marketing, MLM um, folks is like rapport, you know, straight door to door, but on the internet, <laughs> like straight inbox to inbox and not really marketing uh, as, as, in a spammy way, but just building rapport, meeting people in your industry that are, are interested or may be interested in your products or services. Um, so that's definitely a good strategy. You could also use a paid strategy on Facebook. Uh, if you know Facebook ads, um, definitely uh, dive into that. Um, if you don't know Facebook ads, take a course, um, learn something. They have free courses right on Facebook that you can take for Facebook ads, as well as other courses that you could dive into before investing your money because, again, you don't want your money to go to waste. So what strategy are you going to use to knock on the doors of the folks that you uh, ha that has a potential to become your customer um, are you going to use like definitely have that strategy all right I mentioned building a rapport right building a rapport developing that relationship uh, like I said once people go on your list they're going on your list your email list for a certain reason not to just sit there and look pretty on your list but um, you want to send them uh, value pack content you want to send them tools techniques strategies if that's what you're selling like if you can give them some of that information just info that can help them towards the goal and obviously this these um tools and information uh emails that you send them has to be something that's congruent with whatever it is that you're selling right because that's a big thing in all of this you want to have uh, uh, a message to uh, market you want to we want all that to be congruent, right? You want it to match. So whatever you first contacted them for, whether it be to make money online or to lose weight, you want to make sure that end message is congruent, you know? So you want to make sure that you're giving them what they actually want. All right, so the last thing you want to do is focus on closing it. So during this process, right, you'll be identifying people who are uh, candidates like maybe they maybe they don't want your product at all right maybe they're just like oh thanks for contacting me but I'm good with what I have I'm good with what I'm doing um, so you identify those folks cool bam good nice to meet you keep in contact or whatever then you want to go and um, identify the people that has shown an immediate immediate interest in what you are offering right so maybe your product or service um, is like sounds great to them right and maybe they're interested or they've always been looking for something like that then you have the opportunity to allow them to um, look at the opportunity that you have so you have those folks and then you have some folks that you talk to for a while and then later down the line you develop a, um, you see that they uh, have a need maybe they develop a need or maybe you just tapped into a part of a conversation where they have a need for your product or service then you want to uh, uh, then close this person is right then and there so you want to focus on closing their 
the people that you come in contact when the time is right. So not necessarily going to people's inbox, asking them if they want to buy your product, right? You don't want to do it that way. You want to do it in a tactful, tasteful manner. So basically what I'm getting at is that once you go through this process and uh, maybe you built a rapport or maybe you built an automation process that will close this person, um, you want to make sure you have a call to action to buy, um, purchase your services or product so that you can ultimately close the deal. So this is a big thing that a lot of people are missing in their business. They're doing all of the A, B, and C, right? But they're missing D. They're not closing uh, the sale for their products and services. So this ends my video of some things that'll get you started in the right direction. So maybe you're like, okay, what am I missing? And maybe you found one or two things you're missing. Maybe you're not missing anything at all, but you're still struggling. That is where um, the Home Business Academy comes in. If you look at the top of the description of this video, you can get information on how to get training, excuse me, how to get training using over the um, shoulder videos that I've used that help turn my business around Excuse me, I swear I'm not crying, but I'm having some allergy issues right here. But this is real. This is real life right here. <clears throat> You'll find a video. You'll be able to enter your name and your email in there and um, find a video of what I've used to help my business on YouTube and Facebook and stuff like that. And the um, exact strategies that help me rank some videos on uh, YouTube. And um, I will tell you that this is the number one best training that I have ever used in my entire internet marketing um, time because, because it's step by step. I love it. So this is Robin Williams from the realrobinwilliams.com. I'll see you on the top. Peace.